afternoon to you. Uh -huh. Let's turn a uh, yeah, turn that light off. <laughs> All right. Well, good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy with the Cafe Bastillo. How y'all? So it's Sunday afternoon, doing another night. Then I should have a couple of days off. We'll see if that works out, but that's what's on the schedule. And if you'll recall, the last couple of times, it actually has worked out that uh, when I've had a couple of days off, I've gotten them. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll roll along and see how that goes. I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not, not, uh, you know, I'm not mad. Not mad at all. You ever do that? You pick a rag up and you take a little whiff of it to make sure that, uh, you know, it's good to go. And you find out that, well, you know, it's not that bad, but uh, the prop boy probably should have changed that out before we started with the video. Got a very unreliable prop boy around here. I tell you, I don't know, uh, I don't know what to say about that, so we'll just leave it at that, unreliable. So it's uh, Sunday, and, uh, you know, Sundays are laid back and good stuff. And today I thought we'd make it a bay rum Sunday, so I've got some Virgin Island bay rum. And then uh, for a soap, I have two good bay rum soaps. I have uh, Okalala bay rum, I have a little bit left up in a container, and then I have Cramperts Finest Bay Rum. We're going to use the Cramperts Finest. I am still out of the aftershave. I have never replaced the one for some reason. I'm not sure when that is. I apologize. I will do better. But uh, Cramperts makes a uh, witch hazel based aftershave instead of alcohol. And it's a, the, the Bay Rum is just awesome. Now, a little uh, disclaimer here. Uh, the owner of Cramperts is actually one of my moderators over at Toast. Really good guy. He's a gun guy. He runs the range for me over there. But Toast has no affiliation with Cramperts. Cramperts has no affiliation with Toast other than the fact that Brian's one of my moderators. And uh, we just like to point that out as we go along. All right, so for a razor today, we're going to make it an unmentionable Sunday. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. So I've got this beautiful little. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that thing. This is a 1908 uh, single ring, Gillette single ring. And let's go, obviously, you know, open comb and they're silver plated and they're really pretty and they shave really well. And they're a, uh, they're a three piece razor. They have the tube and the barrel with the head on it and then you have, or with the base on it, and then you have the bed. So that's, that's how the three piece on a, uh, on a uh, single ring looks. That's what I'm trying to say, single ring. So what I also have, and we're going to try something today that I haven't tried yet. These are what the old double-edged blades look like. They were thick and they had the three holes. I've never tried to shave with one of these, but here a while back, I got a razor in and it had a blade bank in it and it was packed full of these and they looked new to me. So I cleaned this one up and uh, I haven't used it yet, but we're going to give it a go. Now, truth be known, my expectation is that this is not going to shave. It's just uh, a lot of these old vintage blades, they just, over the years, they deteriorated to the point that where they don't shave. But that's what it looks like when it's in. It's got the little tab stick out. Everything came together nice and tight. We're going to give it a whirl. I've already got, though, a, uh, over here on the side. What did I do with it? It's somewhere. I know it is. But anyway, if I have to have a blade, I'll take the one out of the, uh, super adjustable. Hold on. <coughs> I'll take the blade out of the super adjustable we used yesterday, or the day before yesterday, or maybe it was yesterday. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Whenever I use the super adjustable, we'll take the blade out of it and uh, use it if we need to. So our brush today, we're going to use our Smog 1305. Now, I made a comment the other day somewhere that everybody should have a Smog 1305 in their rotation. And I think that's true. It's a perfect size. The handle is great. It's just a great little brush. So I think pretty much everybody should have a Smog 1305 in there. In their uh, rotation. I know, Jill, you have a love-hate relationship with yours. But, uh, you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. We, you know, old saying, can't we all just get along? Sometimes the answer is no, we can't. All right, so there we go. So we're going to load some cramperts up here. This is this tribal one, but it's deep enough that you can get pretty good little brush action down in there and get it worked up without making too big a mess. We're going to do it. We always do. We start with a damp brush. There's no need to have a dripping wet brush, in my opinion. 
I don't have to tell y'all things are my opinion. Y'all been watching long enough to know how fuzzy he is with his opinions. But anyway, we're going to get it good loaded up here. Now, I was talking with a friend of mine over on the shaved end the other day about this soap. Primo Tenore. And uh, he was saying he can't use this soap because he has a reaction to it. His skin lights up and he had a reaction. And that's a shame. Because it is a very, very nice soap. So I'm not sure what uh, what causes the reactions like that. Is I don't usually have them. I don't remember having a reaction to a soap. But uh, I used to have reactions to poison ivy. But here, since I've gotten older, I haven't had them anymore. I think I could go roll around in a poison ivy bush and not have any problems. I'm not complaining about that, by the way. That was pretty miserable when you hit poison ivy and the calamine lotion and calajo, calamine, whatever. All right, so this is a wonderful bay rum scent. It's not too heavy on clove. It's not too heavy on anything, really. It's a very nice, balanced bay rum. If you enjoy bay rums, if you haven't tried Cranford's Finest, I really suggest you do. And if you don't like the alcohol splashes as much, uh, his witch hazel based is really great. He's also got a mentholated menthol called uh, Frostbite. And then he's got the uh, aftershave to go with it also. I'm not as big a fan of mentholated uh, menthol shave soaps as some people, so I haven't gotten that one. But I really, really, really do enjoy the Bay Rum. It's just, like I said, scent has nothing to do with performance, but it's just a really, really nice. So here we go. We've got a 1906 Gillette single ring with a vintage Gillette blade. One of the three-hole, very stiff blades. This is what shaving was like back in the day. Now, as I've said, I do not expect this to work. So uh, let's see what we get here. Well, you know, I'm going to be wrong. It is definitely not as smooth as a new blade. However, it works. It's, uh, oh yeah. Not only is it gonna work, but it looks like it's gonna work pretty good. I'll take it, I like it. A shave with a vintage razor and a vintage blade. All right. I don't know if you've ever used any older blades. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the old auto strop blades I had used. I, I had not the Valley auto strop, but the actual auto strop. When I got my A1, it had some blades with it, and I took one of them out and used it. And they're not. It's not a smooth. The smoothest shave. It pulls a little bit and it feels rough, but when it's all said and done, it's a pretty decent shave. So we're going to continue on. Oh, yeah. Well, we just had a single day's growth. As you can see, it did, uh, it did okay. It's a little rough down through here. So we're going to see if we can make it work. If we have to. We'll put a We'll put a newer blade in to finish up, but got to be adventurous sometimes, all right? Now, they made stropping machines for these double-edged blades. Most of them were just gimmicks, snake oil type stuff. But, uh, you know, maybe there was some that actually worked. Like some of the, uh, you know, the double-edged stroppers, things of that nature. Alright, let's see if we can get it across the grain. These razors tend to be, uh, when you put a modern blade in them, they tend to be uh, rather aggressive feeling. A lot of blade feel. But uh, with this vintage blade in it, I'm not really getting a whole lot of that. I don't know. Of course, it, you know, it matters. I think maybe, maybe I'm not getting that because the blade is just not in good of shape. Alright, well I started going with my regular against the grain because I was sitting there running my mouth, but we'll change that to across the grain on it. What's going to be fun to see is how much uh, irritation we get in a little while. I don't normally get irritation from shaving, but 
This play baby when it does it. I will say if you want to see if your technique's good, pick you up a vintage blade. Let's see what happened. Put it over here and clean that up. All right. Well, there we go. Two passes on the vintage blade. Let's see if we can get the goatee cleaned up a little. see what we got here get rinsed off take a break for a couple of sips of coffee first hey getting up and getting moving it's time for a cup of coffee mm -hmm. another truth of advertising that's instant cafe bustello today with a little bit of sweet and low in it because i didn't take time to drip me a pot or anything and i'm out of the curie k cups so that's instant coffee I don't mind. I ain't ashamed of it. I'm pretty secure in my coffee alkalinity. I'm not worried about it. I'll drink instant coffee sometimes. I'm not a coffee snob. All right. Well, let's check this out. Now, I will say it's not uh, probably not as smooth a shave as we get sometimes from uh, our other blades, but it's fun as just to do something. Put a little witch hazel on here. Yeah, it's definitely not as smooth as it normally would be. But I think it's going to be presentable for tonight. I think we're going to enjoy the experience and say that it was fun. And there we go, right across there. Come up under here and clean up some. Under that jawline and down by the old ear. Do a little skin stretching and get that up there. All right. And that's a wrap. Cramper's Finest Bay Rum. I recommend it. If you like a Bay Rum soap, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. You can look them up and see... Uh, See what it, all the ingredients and everything about it. If you want to ask about it, you can pop over to Toast. That's the original safety 2com and talk to Shadow's dad. He'll tell you all about it. So there we go. Not a bad shave at all, boys and girls. Not a bad shave at all. Out of our vintage. So we're going to open her up. Older blades are stiffer than the new blades and it pops up just really quick. We're going to take it out of here without getting our fingers cut open. Always a good thing. But that's what the blades look like. They were old, thicker, heavier with the round holes before they had all the newer modern looking blades. Well, there we go. Well, y'all have a great day out there wherever you are doing whatever it is you're doing. And I'm going to finish getting ready to work and go in and make my night at work. It'll be a slow night up until about 3 o'clock in the morning. It'll start picking up, and then the contractors will start coming in, and then it'll be a run for the finish line at 6. That's how it goes. Y'all have a great evening out there, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing. Happy shaves to you.